Why be an angel when I can play God? Looks like one of the three amigos has gone adios. Yeah. Hola. such a typical rebellious Pisces. You couldn't make it one day on your own, could you? Someone reminded me that every angel is unique. Uh, okay, you just gotta wiggle your hips a little bit. Pull down. All right, all right, that's okay. Let me, let me, let me try getting them from the bottom. Just give me a... Uh, wait, Jared. Penny. 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 Na 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 leader. Na 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 leader. Na 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 leader. 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 Ben Ben. Hi, I'm Sarish Sudakaran, and in this video, I'll show you four common character archetypes most used in team or group movies of three or four characters. First, a warning: this is not a formula to be followed religiously. It's just a fun observation that holds true for a surprising number of movies and TV shows where groups or ensembles are involved. They have to be a team of some sort. I hope you understand the last thing we all want to see is cardboard cutout characters, so don't follow this blindly. The four archetypes are the linchpin, or sometimes the leader of the group. He or she is the fulcrum, and without them the group will feel incomplete. They'll just fall apart. Next, the thinker. The thinker is a smart one, the philosophical one, the brains of the group, the man with the plan. When we have only three character teams, the thinker is usually the linchpin as well. Third, we have the rebel, the angry person, the one with the short fuse. Finally, we have the odd one. He or she can be the joker in the pack, the comic relief. Or if it's a serious movie, they can just be a quirky character that's out of the norm. Now let's check out 19 movies and shows where these archetypes hold true. Some of them are a stretch, but is close enough to fall within the paradigm. Let's start with The Godfather. The Godfather, then Michael, are the linchpins, the leaders. Tom is the thinker, the consigliere. Sonny is the hothead, and Fredo is the odd one out. In Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Leonardo is the linchpin and leader. Donatello is the thinker, Raphael is the rebel, and Michelangelo is the oddball. In The A-Team, Hannibal is the leader and linchpin. Face is the thinker. Baracus is the rebel, and Murdoch is the odd one out. In The Hangover, four friends set out to Vegas. Doug is the linchpin, Phil is the thinker, Stu is the rebel, and Alan is the odd one out. Mission Impossible Ghost Protocol. Ethan Hunt is the leader and linchpin. Jane is the thinker, Brant is the rebel, and Benji is the odd one out. In TV shows, Seinfeld is the best example of this paradigm. It's just me. That's enough! <laughs> Jerry is the leader and linchpin. All the other characters revolve around him. Elaine is the thinker, George is the rebel, and Kramer is the odd one out. Let's take a three-character movie for a change, The Big Lebowski. We're talking about unchecked aggression here, What the dude. fuck is he talking My about? Rug. Forget Look. it, Donnie, you're out of your element. The dude is the linchpin. Walter is the hothead, and Donnie is the odd one out. It's a Coen Brothers movie, so all three are thinkers. Am I wrong? No. Am I wrong? Yeah, but... Okay, then. <laughs> Sounds like your neighbor's hum. <laughs> What's instructive is that once you create good characters, the group feels unfulfilled if you miss out on any of these characters. Like the Big Bang Theory. Leonard is the linchpin. Sheldon is the thinker. Raj is the rebel. And Leonard is the odd one out. I'm a romantic. <laughs> If we take a larger group, like the usual suspects, Keaton is the leader and linchpin, Burble is the thinker, McManus and Todd are the rebels, and Fenster is the odd one out. In larger groups, we typically have multiple personalities under the same archetype. Somehow, when you have more than four characters, some aren't as strong as the others. This holds true for female groups as well, like Charlie's Angels, Bosley is the leader and linchpin, Alex is the thinker, Dylan is the rebel, and Natalie is the odd one out. Guardians of the Galaxy, Peter Quill is the leader and linchpin, Gamora is the thinker, Drax is the hothead, Rocket is both thinker and hothead, and Groot is the odd one out. Another Marvel group follows a similar paradigm. In the Fantastic Four. Fantastic Four, Mr. Fantastic is the leader and linchpin. The Invisible Woman is a thinker, the Human Torch is a rebel, and Thing is the odd one out. 
Even Harry Potter isn't so far from these archetypes. Harry is the leader and thinker, Hermione is the rebel, and Ron is the odd one out. In Goodfellas, Conway is the leader and thinker, Tommy is the rebel, and Henry is the odd one out. The odd one doesn't always have to be a comic relief, another example of which is this next Spielberg movie. In Jaws, Brody is the leader and thinker, Hooper is the rebel, and Quint is the odd one out. Tarantino shouldn't be left out. In Death Proof, Zoe is the leader and thinker. We all have our individual talents, and that just happens to be one of Zoe's. Kim is the hothead, and Abernathy is the odd one out. Why miss Star Wars? Luke is the leader and linchpin. Princess Leia is the thinker, Han Solo and Chewbacca are rebels, and C-3PO and R2-D2 are the odd ones out. One more female-driven show, Desperate Housewives. Definitely rich, check out the car. Definitely single, check out the fish. <laughs> this one is tough because the characters change so much. Susan is the leader and linchpin. Bree is the thinker. Wow, booze, loose morals, and now swearing? Too late, there's no Bree left. Lynette is the rebel, and Gabriel is the odd one out. Finally, let's finish with one animated series, The Simpsons. This is the toughest one. Homer is the linchpin, Marge is the thinker, Lisa is the rebel, and Bart is the odd one out. It's strange how many movies and shows follow the four character archetypes. Whoa, you just blew my mind. Something about the structure is strong, like a diamond where the carbon atoms are linked with an eternal bond. You just can't separate them without changing everything. What do you think? I'm sure there are plenty more movies with similar archetypes, or maybe you can tell me movies where these archetypes are not followed. That will be interesting. I'll publish an infographic of this list on Patreon, you'll find it in the description. If you like this video, hit the like button. To see more videos like this one, please subscribe. There are lots more on the way. Bye now. One day you're going to be a great father. Aww. And someday you'll be one too. Heroes in a half shell, turtle power.